in this lecture we will see how to design up down ripple counter that is the same circuit should do up counting as well as the down counting depending on some control mechanism so first we will see this 2 bit ripple up down counter so the moment we said 2 bit the number of flip flops required is 2 that is n is equal to 2 so what is the maximum count we can get capital n is equal to 4 because n is 2 so 2 power 2 means 4 so that is the state will become like this either it will go to 0 1 2 3 and it will come back to 0 again or it may go 3 2 1 0 and come back to 3 again so this is up counting this is down counting right the same circuit should op uh, perform these both operations so these are the two flip flops I run J naught K naught given to 1 j1 k1 given to 1 now we know this is negative edge trigger flip flop so whenever there is a negative edge trigger flip flop if i connect this q0 as the next flip flop clock it will do up counting when i connect this q0 bar next is a uh, flip flop clock it will do the down counting now if you remember i have given some four node points that is when it will do the up counting when it will do the down counting so in lecture 57 we have discussed that uh, node points something like this if there is a negative edge trigger flip flop if q as clock it will do up counting if there is a negative edge trigger and q bar as clock it will do the down counting if it is a positive edge trigger flip flop and q as clock it will do the down counting if positive edge trigger and q bar as clock it will do the up counting right if you remember these four points so we can easily identify it is doing the up counting or down counting now the same circuit should do up as well as the down so I'm having two inputs but at a time I should get only one so to drive this flip flop now two inputs one output which circuit will do that operation so it is nothing but multiplexer so what is the multiplexer operation it will take so many inputs we will get one output that is 2 power n by 1 max so n is select lines this is n select lines these are 2 power n inputs I am having only 2 inputs how many select lines required only 1 so these 2 will go to 1 2 by 1 max this is the output so I will get 0 here I will get 1 now what is the control input here the control input is we can say mode of operation capital M right if m is equal to 0 the output of max will be this q0 if m is equal to 1 the output of this max will be q0 bar so this output will be given to clock of the next flip flop now very simple now operation if m is equal to 0 what will happen the q0 is going to the next flip flop so it will do up counting right now if m is equal to 1 what will happen q0 bar is going to the next flip flop clock so what it will do simply down counting that's it as simple as that so depending on the control input it may do up counting it may do down counting right now so i will not explain the operation because already we know that operations so whenever this uh, when we neg uh, apply the negative edge clock so always the q0 will change its state so depending on this clock the output of the q1 also change that we know already right very simple uh, design so generally in our test books or some uh, sometimes in gate exam so they will give instead of this 2 by 1 marks they will give some circuit now we know that if there is a 2 by 1 marks so what is the operation so what is the operation this is i0 or this is i0 this is i1 2 inputs this is 0 1 right so depending on the select line what I will get this is output so when s is equal to 0 I will get i0 so what is this s bar into i0 plus when s is equal to 1 I will get i1 so that is s into i1 so how can I implement this functionality using AND gate and OR gate so first AND gate second AND gate and both will go to one OR gate this is the output y now first input so s bar so s bar this is i0 and this one is s into i1 so what is s and s bar here this m now the same uh, circuit in a different way how see this 2 by 1 max is replaced by the AND gate and OR gate 
and this is the control input m so m bar is going to the first and gate m is going to the second and gate as like this see this is s bar into i naught so what is i naught here q naught and s bar is m bar for the second and gate q naught bar is one input and m is the one more input so this uh, two inputs are going to the one r gate now same operation it will perform that is when m is equal to zero what is the output i will get see so m is equal to zero so there is a not gate so i will get one here and i will get zero here so zero into anything i'll get zero so this q naught is coming to the this and gate so i'll get q naught so q naught into one i'll get q naught so what is the output of this r gate this is q naught now when q naught is connected to this next flip flop i'll get up counting now similarly when m is equal to one what happens so one so this is one bar so i will get what here zero second case i am doing this is zero so zero into anything i will get zero here but m is equal to one means here see i will get one here and this is q naught bar so what is the output i will get q naught bar so here i will get q naught bar in second case so now see q naught bar is connected to the next flip flop so it will do the down count that's it right so uh, operation i think it is not required so very simple so whenever one one comes so on the negative edge is given q naught uh, is always changing its state right so whenever it is changing the state it is going to the next clock so whenever this is also going as a negative edge trigger then it will perform the operation and so on so that we can easily understood that concept right now similarly we will see three bit up down counter using positive edge trigger something like this so three bit ripple up down counter so that is number of flip flops required is three so and maximum count it can do is n is equal to eight which is less than or equal to two power n now three flip flops and the flip flops i'm using here is t flip flop right t naught t1 t2 q naught q1 q2 now similarly see here i'm using the positive trigger so there are two inputs so i have to uh, provide only one input for the next flip flop that is i have to use again 2 by 1 marks so one input is this one another input is this one so what is the next one this is the control input and this output is coming here here also i am having two inputs so i i need one more 2 by 1 marks so one input is this one another input is this one and the select line is same mode that is how i can have this is as select line output is going to the next flip flop right and uh, this uh, flip flop inputs t2 will be one t1 will be one and t0 is also one now we have to think so this is a positive edge trigger now we have seen when there is a positive edge trigger and q0 as clock it will do down counting q0 bar as the next flip flop clock it will do the up counting so that is if m is equal to zero so what we will get here so zero means this is zero this is one so i will get q0 here similarly this is zero this is one so i will get q1 here so that is q as clock for the all the flip flops or we can say next flip flops so what i will get simply down counting right so that points already i have discussed something like this if there is a positive trigger and q as clock i will get down counting if you want you can verify the operation also next the moment m is equal to 1 so q bar as clock yes or no see m is equal to 1 so i will get this one as the output of the, this multiplexer so in the second case i will get here q bar q naught bar here i will get q1 bar so what we will get operation up counting right so it's very easy to design this up down counter using this 2 by 1 marks and control control input we can say mode of operation so what is the mode of operation when m is equal to 0 here we'll get down counting if m is equal to 1 we'll get up counting right similarly we can go for 4 bit or ripple up down counter and so on right so we may have positive edge trigger as well as the negative edge trigger we can use t flip flop we can use jk flip flop also right so if you are having any doubt please post a comment